God, it's so bright here. I discovered, by the way, um, if anybody is playing this game and they're having performance issues, it's shadows. Shadows are the problem. Shadows low is basically shadows off. Shadows medium, you notice how much changes. Like, everything is a shadow. The GPU drain of this game with shadows is massive. So when I was saying that I was like having a lot of frame rate issues in, in the recording and stuff like that, uh, that was why. So I've, I've got them off so we actually have like a bit of performance. Things are a bit bright, so I might have to tone down store colors a little, but yeah. We have a lot more money than I thought we should have. 5,618 bucks. Seems like a lot. Projected profit, 766. Is that accurate? No staff. Nothing hired yet. Guess it's okay. See how it goes. Hundred sixteen tax. <laughs> Basically nothing. It's all write-offs. It's all business expenses that we've got. We pay nothing in tax. All right. Welcome to the Salt Shack, ladies and gentlemen. We're open. It's happening. We got some back stock, some more stuff coming in at noon, I think it was, right? Something like that. Can probably get another small shelf in at some point soon. Hey, and Commander Useless! Gifted a tier 1 sub to Deconata. Gifted 20 thus far on the channel. Thank you very much for that. Apparently we got a hype train going on too. Didn't even notice that. But I got a tier 3 emote for it. It's Hype Rage. It's a fucking angry owl. I actually kind of like that one. That ain't too bad. But hey, much appreciated. Come on in, we're open. It's official. Yeah, they're working the way across. I don't know if I want to open my store to be where deliveries come in at like noon before we open. So like we'd be open it at one officially. I don't know if I want to do the... Maybe something to play around with. We're largely farmers, though. Thanks. And I think farmers and laborers are generally a morning type. I actually might want to open earlier, to be honest. Thanks. Man, they like that toilet paper, though. Pizza. Yeah, we got to get frozen foods and stuff. I got to buy the um, at, at the concept area of HQ. Get some of the mayo there. Miracle mayo. Come on. It's as good as it sounds. At the HQ, the concept area, we got to get like the, the talent for it, I think. Yeah, all I can do is cans and cleaning. That ain't that great. Could get some coffee and such, though, I suppose. More flavors, a little more variety of the stuff that actually sells. I'm still torn on toilet paper. Like, it's a nice gag item, but it takes up so much shelf space, though. Can go to the city at the end of the day after the office, but to go back to HQ. Okay. So that's the thing that I haven't played around with. This is about as far as I ever got playing the franchise mode. So I don't know how that works, balancing between contracts and this store and assigning a manager to this store and all that. So those of you who are familiar with the process may have to guide me through it because it's not entirely... God damn. Not entirely clear. She looks like she's seen some shit. Oh my god. Hey, there's the delivery time. Good. 
We're almost out of the toilet paper. I like the midday deliveries, though. That's really interesting. You got to plan out your day a little bit better because of that. Thanks. Realistically, there'd be a bunch of different vendors coming in with different stuff, and we'd be ordering from, you know, the diamond standard delivery would be coming in at this time, and the organics at this time, and that sort of deal. Like, we always had Pepsi and Coke come in with their deliveries around, like, 5 to 6 in the morning, usually. And then somebody coming in for some of the floral stuff, uh, like, 9 to 10. It was always just kind of paced throughout the day. If you want the real, true experience of working retail. Yeah, in a minute, sir. Toilet paper, important. I mean, ma'am, I apologize. Get out. Fuck out of here. They like the quick meals, though. Big fans of that. I don't know why they don't like the, the Miracle Mayo, though. Not sure. Bit odd. Tasty Dreams Miracle Mayo. <laughs> well, what's there not to like? Look at it. That's the good shit. Yeah, thanks. I'd like to get a cheap cashier so I can spend a bit more time sign spinning. Or maybe I just hire somebody for greeting, actually. May as well. That's a thing now. I'm not used to that being a thing. Well, as far as markup goes, it's always like three times markup for stuff. It's a bit wild. I don't know if I got to bring the markup down for it, but then at that point, why bother? Why even bother stocking it? It's groceries, ma'am. It's, uh, it's, it's groceries. Beep boop. Shabby, is that you? Shabby, where you been? Thanks. That is you. Tier one, 26 months. Thank you very much, Shabby. How you doing? How you been? The mail's over three times? Hey, can you help me? Okay, yeah, fuck. Oh, Jesus, what? Can you do anything? It's groceries. We just went over this. Did we not? Are you somebody else? Look, ma'am, just give me your wallet. I will figure it out for you, okay? Thank you. What would you like? The toilet paper? Toilet paper? Maybe some toilet paper? A fine cho- You didn't even- You didn't even grab one. You grabbing from behind the shelf? You sneaky. I think she bought some miracle mayo and a- and a- and an instant meal. She's got plans. If you buy two Miracle Mayos, you get a toilet paper for free. My gift to you. Holy shit. Oh my god, you bought everything. 500 bucks she had. 420 was the old record. <laughs> Jeez. Jesus. Miracle Mayo emote when? Is it, is it worth it? <laughs> I had to get a salt emote though. We could, uh... We could do something with that. Possibly. Maybe. What? 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 Uh, toggle view! Get out of here! Shoo! We're closed anyway! Everybody! Shoo! All right. So I think the taste two germs we can uh, we can reduce our minimums on this. It doesn't really sell. I actually, I'll go with like six. I guess. And the meals, we'll see how it goes. I think all that's fine. The toilet paper. Toilet paper is over four times markup. I'll have you know. 90 bucks, exactly three times. It's great quality. That, that's it, though. Mm. It's the best mayo the city's got. I don't know. I don't know. 
Maybe they don't know what to do with it. Maybe it's like fabric softener. It's this younger generation. They don't know what it's for. They don't know how. Projected profit, 66 bucks. Today was less good because I spent so much time indoors. Ah, oh, well. You win some, you lose some. Is there anybody ridiculously cheap here? All these people have so much experience. 12 years, this dude is a manager of a gas station, has a PhD in cash registers. Dorsey Bagley. Dude. People call me Dorsey, and I want this to be my second home. I can happily say I believe my efforts are worth their weight in gold, and I rarely have sick days. Should we set a date for the interview? Cheers, Dorsey Bagley. <sighs> I'm Larry Mason. I live with my cats, and I would like to get a career going at your store. Also, I take my time learning stuff, and I will never be late. I am available at all times for further discussions. See ya, Larry. Mm. And I don't, I don't want any of these. You're all out of here. True. All of you are way too overqualified. I gotta up our back room if I want to order more stuff, though, also. So from here, I would, um... We hit level 2, so I imagine we get more talent points. Okay, one concept point. That doesn't seem like a lot. But from here, I would go to city. And then we pop into the HQ. I think it was the board. Yeah, points remaining one. Yeah, ten points to unlock. We got to get some leveling going. All right. Well, this this has already been in King of Retail. This is nothing new. The, there's just been some work done to it to make it a bit more. But uh, the, the visuals are a lot different, though, certainly. So we'll go to store, and then this is the next day, then? Yeah. Okay. There have been some pretty big updates too, though. Like, I can also, when I get employees, I can actually zone where to have the employees as, like, this is their primary area and secondary area. So if I want some dude working just produce, I can do that now. Which I think, I think that is the knees of the bee, as you may say. Look at all these wasted customers. Because they come walking by too early. Man. Hey, useless. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good one. Streaming some secure tonight at 9 p.m. Central European time. Oh. Excuse me. Ooh. Yes, sir. Salt. Absolutely. Let me get that neat up there, too. Thank you. You are very welcome. As far as backroom stuff goes, let me take care of these two first. Uh, I would want... I guess it'd be one of these. It does fit. Yeah, after today's delivery, I might look at uh, switching that around, getting the denser pallet thing. Well, I got, I got time now, actually. Okay. 4,000 bucks, but 
gives me a lot more room to work with as far as like shelving and backstock. I think it might be worth it. Cage for annoying customers. Yes. Yeah, guys like this just come walking up, staring at the windows. The window shoppers. They don't plan on coming in at all. They're just gonna be there. It's effectively Thanks. loitering. Ugh. A lot of ecologists coming around today. Thanks. Hey, look, he did buy something. Nice, good on ya. $203? How'd you manage... 203? Did you give me a tip? Weird. Thirteen again. What are the? What's with the pricing? What's this odd amount they're getting? You know we don't individually sell the toilet paper, right? You can't be ripping into those. Have a nice day. Weird. A lot of them just buying one or two items, too. We don't have, like, that first day where they were buying two, three things each. We had so many people giving me, like, 200 bucks when they shopped. Thank you. If I have a delivery queued for noon, but we're not open at noon, how does that work? Well, will it be here when I show up already? Just wondering, like, what if I was a super early morning store for, like, the, the early waking up people? You know, the early bird gets the salt, as the saying goes. If I wanted to accommodate for that, would I ever get a delivery if I wasn't open at noon? Come on, get some mayo. Yeah! Nice! <laughs> we got one! Ooh. Thanks. Under 13. It's like 63 something cost. Man, those canned quick meals are, uh, those are, those are doing really good. I think I take off these Tasty Dreams things and they get another, another canned thing in. That's what I'm thinking. That's flying out of here. Okay. 5,700 bucks, that seems like a quite okay day. Considering I already bought the big cage thing for a few thousand. Inventory, 2,700. Property, 1,200. Not bad. 
Oh, and there's a Tasty Dream sale. I wonder if the mayo's on sale. We got a few things that might have been. Dude, it is. It's even on sale. They know that I plan on transitioning away from it. They're like, no, please. Please don't. I'm doing it. Hmm. Some oregano. We could dish a little bit of oregano up on that salt shelf when uh, when we get frozen pizzas in. Get some oregano in there so you can doctor up the doctor up the pizza a bit. That's how it goes sometimes. Could see about getting in some of the the problem is like this is garbage sales. Like it's so garbage. I'll get some of it to see. And then the canned... What? Meatballs, I guess. I guess I'll get in some canned vegetable thing. Or so. I'll we'll remove the fancy salt in favor of the... The more of a basket filler basic salt. How was the mayo priced? Right. Twenty one ninety. Yeah, that'll be okay. We can look at getting a little coffee thing set up too, I suppose. At some point. We'll order that for now. See how it uh, organizes. What do we got for applying? Had my own little clothing store and part time in a restaurant. Yair Huddleston. Okay. Oof. A lot of talent in marketing, but not good at it, thankfully. Article handling, cash register, sales. Uh... Don't know. Yeah, man. Oh, just a few bucks more. Just a few bucks more. Okay, just a few bucks more. Really, just like a couple more, though. <sighs> Grateful. There we go. A normal associate. Tons of talent in sales. All right. Okay. So you can be a restocking customer helper person. Computers and women's bottoms. For ecologists and accountants. Incident rep boost to segment. Adding article to its display increases hype for customers nearby. Yeah, sure. No, that seems great. I'd also like to feed myself. Well, excuse me. It's 69.69. How could you not be happy with that? A few bucks more. No, really, just a few more. I'm grateful. I promise. Fuck out of here. God, I hate that. <laughs> I think we're okay to move on. God damn. Why don't you tell me what you think you're worth? How about that? Let's flip it a bit. Maybe you gotta discuss your payment with HR. How about that? How do you like that? Maybe it's maybe it's not up to me. <sighs> Man. No, oh, stop. Stop. We're almost open, sir. Sir, wait. We're we're almost open though.
Here we go. Here comes the customers. Yes, hello, welcome. Welcome to the salt shack. We have every... Welcome to the salt shack. We have everything you could ever want. Look, let me tell you about it. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. We got new products coming in later today, too. So be sure to come back. Tell your friends. God damn it. Excuse me. The one time I don't have it all the way maxed out. What a hard sell sometimes. Who's this vampire that came walking in? Ah, oh, get out of here, Nosferatu. Show. Thanks. He did too. Good. We don't serve no damn vampires here in this store. Don't serve their kind. Hey, back stock's empty. Pack up that shelf. Actually, we'll be uh, we'll be resetting that whole shelf, that whole shelf tonight. I think actually get some vertical arrangement of salt in. Thank you. Whew, that was close. Let up's gonna happen again. Hungry today, aren't you? Oof. Two quick meals. And some salt. Yeah, sometimes they're a bit lacking in flavor. It's true. It is known. God damn. Buying out the store pretty much. 373 bucks. Like that already like pays for the the rent and everything. See about moving the register a bit too to make it a little bit easier to dive into it after the after coming out of here. Maybe it doesn't matter too much really. We haven't missed a sale yet. I don't know where that weird random uh, three price is coming from. 80. It's like a bunch of 50s and 80s. So up here, we're getting... I'm gonna just wipe that whole shelf, I think. Yeah, come in. Door's wide open. No interest in groceries. I'm just gonna stand here staring into your building. Weird. Thanks. We got some really good salt for celebrities here. It's perfect. You'll love it. The very best salt. It's different than the other Thanks. salts because this one costs more. It's got extra me. minerals in it. I'm convincing a dude to buy an instant box meal. What is this? Look, man, if you have to ask, it's not for you. Thank you. You're welcome. What? What's with the ecologists? It's a store. We sell things. Get any. Maybe I should make a marketing advertisement for, for them so they know what this is.
All right. So if I were to do that, yeah. All right, maybe. Making sure they all take up the same space on the shelf. Because with the facings being different sizes, it's kind of rough knowing sometimes. Uh, it's all a bit fucked up. Uh, well, backwards. Let me just, let me just reset the whole shelf. It's closing time anyway, get out of here. Move the whole damn thing. And then some cans on the bottom. Fish. Something like that. And then you get salt at the bottom. Oh. Just a bit of salt at a time, though. I generally don't want them filling their grocery need with that one cheap fucking salt for 50 bucks. No way will that work out. Thousand projected profits, though. That ain't bad. And as far as the minimums go... We'll see about that. I gotta relook at minimums. Gonna see about opening up a little bit earlier, too. We'll see about seven. Seven to sixteen. And maybe. Maybe. Five years, assistant manager at a gas station. Oh boy. Oof. Really good cashier, but also demanding. Not even gonna try. No, sir. Next day. Corner kiosk. We're doing it. Ah, we got just one more concept point. That's going to be a while. Uh. All right, though. Change this around a bit. No, no, no. Change it around a bit. Because I generally want... We can almost get away with having... Two columns of each. Almost. We're gonna go for the meat. Yeah, some sort of strange meatball box over the mash boxes, though. There we go. Looks a bit patchy, but it'll get better. And then for this, yeah, just a basic salt down there. That's... That's okay. Not really what we're hoping to push. And since I can only have four of this, let's go for a min storage of, I guess, six. 
This can come down quite a bit. We'll just say 15. Meatballs 8, mash 10. We'll say mash 6. The meatball thing's 10. It could also be 10, I guess. And a little more of that. Hi. Spare two seconds. Yes, hello, welcome. The basic salt. I wish you wouldn't. Thanks. 18 for a full shelf? Yeah, but do I want a full shelf? I guess so. Yeah, 6, 12, 18. Yeah. At least have it full for a bit. Customers like that. Hey. Desperate hey. need of groceries. Could really use some of that toilet paper. Desperate need for it. Thanks. I vote the fancy salt. Great idea. I know it. Look, man, I know pensioners. I know what you need. Thank Bam. You. Selling it. Hey, got a second? It's it's still groceries. It's all groceries. That's our secret. It's all groceries all the time. His need is legendary now. Steph AF? Is, is that really Steph as fuck? That is so Steph. <laughs> Yeti playing King of Retail. Yay. Welcome. That's honestly probably one of my favorite games currently. I don't know. It, it scratches all the right weird itches that I've got. Also, Tinky Tink, hello. Welcome. Oh, right, delivery at 12 still. Right, we're still waiting on the delivery. That's going to take a while to get used to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come one, come all. I like how hipsters are actually just Twitch streamers. Thank you. Like, they've just, they've just accepted it and embraced it. And I love them for it. Hey. Running late? Oh no. Would never consider buying that. Well, listen here, nerd. Alright. Okay. Yeah, fine. Calm down a bit. Yeah, hold on. I'm Thank arguing you. with Eric Cohn over here. Would I play in VR? Placing items one by one on the shelves, pressing correct buttons on the register? Absolutely. Dude, I'd play nothing else. Like, I don't know why a shelf-stocking game isn't already a massive VR hit. I don't get it. I don't understand. It needs to happen. The more work I can do outside of work, the better. Thank you. Oh my god, about time he showed up an hour and a half late. Jeez. It's alright, there's not a whole lot to deliver anyway. It could just be like some dude in a sedan pulling up and like pop open the trunk and <laughs> it's like a small crate comes out. The update? Oh, the updates have been really good. Everybody looks so good. The most recent update being just visually how people look. Really nice. 
it's so diverse the amount of people that you get in but like you still kind of know what they are based on their primary color hey. but they look so unique and then being able to assign where customer or uh, employees stand and all that like you give them sections to be in if you so choose thank you so handy you can also create like your own role you don't have to have them just strictly restocking you can make them a, a custom role where they do restocking and also customer service so you could have the dude who's just like they work produce and they manage the restocking and helping customers in just that area it's really powerful Oh yeah, and employee outfits too. Yeah, I mean, I like I like the vertical stripe, stripes. It makes me feel tall and powerful. Big fan of that. Give me that intimidation score of the customers, you know. I want to strong arm them into buying canned meatballs and toilet paper. Yeah, mixing up the employees with customers, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a rough time doing that nowadays. Oof. Hard sell. Yeah, you can customize the color of your outfit, change the tops and bottoms, the types. And then just obviously, yeah, the customer's looking so wildly different anyway. Really good, though. Their, their artist is doing a fantastic job with everything. Oh, we're closed. I was gonna say, like, what the hell happened? Alright. We can almost look at getting another shelf in. We could get a dedicated salt shelf or something like that. I think I might go for a dedicated coffee area, though. And one day get the frozen pizzas and such in there, too. See what I can do about minimums. I would want... I remember brownie mixes being really good too. The brownie and cake mixes. Those were like really good, I, I remember. Let's do it. A baking area. We got like fancy flour anywhere? All just rice, basmati, jasmine, wild. Are part par what is this race? Parlid Park Parkild Fuck, what are you? It's not like pre boiled because it's definitely P A R unless it's a typo? It looks like par boiled rice. But who would buy a bag of pre-boiled rice? What the fuck? I'm not selling that. Alright, I'll get some flour then, I guess. Basic poop flour. It might be a bit of a small shelf, so we'll just go with five of each for the time being. Oof. Getting expensive though. <laughs> you need to uh, keep a real close eye on that. At your own little clothing store. Yeah, maybe. Talented, workaholic, pessimist, booty, really good cash registers. Great with techies and women's bottoms. Instant reputation boost to a sick. I love the all the perks that uh, employees can have too. They really, like, really perfect employees. Super duper stands out. That was really crackly sounding. What's up with that? Hey, Palir, Prime Gaming, three months. Thank you very much. Welcome. Congrats on the promotion. Yeah, we'll see about that. It's like a dedicated register person. That's, it is what I need. All right. 78. A little more. 90. Ugh. 
You're hired, I guess. Ugh. I will have you be cashier on weekends. How about? How about that? Otherwise, don't forget, day off. The grade out rule doesn't mean they're not there. It just means they do, I think, whatever they want to do, but they seem to they seem to prefer um, cashier over anything else. And another registers. Small amount of energy after a successful sale and recovering energy if low. Specialize in groceries and hipsters. Hmm. Eighty-one ninety, for Nita Norton. I'll hire you, but I'm not going to use you quite, quite yet. Parboiled rice keeps more vitamin B and fibers than standard. So what is parboiled? Is that like pre-boiled, but not? Like I, I haven't even heard of that word before. Looks like a typo. You can be. A greeter. A greeter in the mornings, how about? Hmm, actually. So we'll show for the restocking in the evening. But you're going to be off... Friday to be ready for the weekend. And then... I guess we have Thursday. So you work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then you can be off Monday, and then you work Tuesday, and then you're off for a weekend. Parboiled rice, also called converted rice and easy cook rice. Oh, okay. Has been partially boiled in the husk. Three basic steps of parboiling are soaking, steaming, and drying. These steps make the rice easier to process by hand while also boosting its nutritional profile, changing its texture, and making it more resistant to weevils. The treatment is practiced in many parts of the world. Huh. All right. Interesting. So, uh, Thursday... Oh, Thursday. Okay, fine. So Tuesday, Thursday, and weekend. And then... That is greeting, and then you help stock when the stocking happens. Boy, this is going to be expensive. We'll see how it goes. I feel like it's too early to get employees. Like, I'm not... I'm not losing customers any, you know? Alright, so a little baking area, though. Another just small shelf. Get it across. Add on, copy the appearance over. And we don't have the stuff yet. Okay. But yeah, so like there's Nita coming in, but I can also select her. Whoops. And I can select the work area and you can you can paint on the floor tiles where you want them to be and hang out. Which I think is just so cool. Some jobs ignore this though, depending. Like, uh, I think restocking ignores it. It doesn't really matter for that very much. But I think that's so cool though. Especially mixed in with the multi rolls that you can do. It makes it so easy. To just have, this is the department. These are the people that work it. 
And you can also add in notes if you want to like remind yourself like, oh, they're here for just the produce department. So you know like a week later who people are. Because otherwise, <laughs> you totally forget. Thanks. There we go. I'll leave you to it. I trust, I believe. You bring him in, Nita. You, you, you stack him up and I'll dunk him down. It's all bringing the game a bit closer to my, my mall shop dream, though. God, I hope it goes in that direction. Hey, can you help me? Oh my god. I'm coming, ma'am. Thanks. Uh, uh. The nice salt. <sighs> Don't think there's enough traffic here to really worry about a greeter. I'll probably switch her over to uh, customer service when we start getting a bit more busy indoors. It's just, it's a really low population area the store is in. Thank you. Man, noon can't come soon enough. Damn near just misclick that. Thanks. But less time for me out there means more time indoors. I can get to the register a lot quicker without them having to wait. And then they'll be like, oh wow, I got in the register like so quick. The service was so fast. And they get happy about that and we get a bit more rep for it. And it still helps a bit. It's just a matter of how much does she cost. <laughs> she was like 70 an hour or something like that. It's going to be a few hundred more bucks per day. She's more expensive than the building is. Thanks. She has to bring in like one proper customer per hour, I think. I don't know if people spend less than what she's worth per hour in the store. Thank you. So now she's doing the restocking and stuff, I think. Because we have noon. The delivery ought to be showing up. Thanks. Oh, shit. I think having her restock at 13 might be a bit better because the delivery dude takes so long to get here. Assuming he even shows up on time. Where is he at? Lazy bones. Uh, need to just go back to greeting. He might be late today. I didn't catch if the pop-up said anything about that. It was delayed again? Okay. It's coming an hour late. And it takes him a good... Half hour to get into the building. It looks like. So yeah, having her start restocking um, hour after delivery might be okay. Holy shit, there's so many. 57 hey, items. Minute? Yeah, I have a minute. I'll do it. Would never consider. How about the canned good? Not in a million years. Look here, Breon Riggs. We're a grocery store here. Thanks. Alright, her shift's done now. Did you did you get much done? Not really. 
Hmm. Looks like a really high-end grocery store. <laughs> Just the most high-end. All, all the, all the good instant meals here. You know, you know, like those ramen cups that are like, you know, the proper ramen cups. We got those. If you want the good ramen, you got to go to the salt shack. We got the good salt too, just in case your ramen doesn't have enough in it. We got nice wood floors too. I don't think I'm going to look into a new delivery company anytime soon, though. The next one is pretty expensive. If this guy wants to be delayed all the time, so be it. Hey, morning, friend of Bezzy. Welcome. Walk in and be like, what's the catch? <laughs> Well, the catch is, uh, it's actually a gray tomb in here, and you're stuck for all eternity. Such is life. So let's just say... Uh, okay. Two of each. No, I'm busy. No, and then we can do the last column flower. We might be able to fit in two flowers there, depending on the facing sizes. Yeah, lost money, but 2,000 bucks because we bought a shelf. So, yeah, you know, even though there wasn't a whole lot of traffic, it Still might work out okay having a greeter. Ooh, grateful. Article handling. Handles more ex expensive items faster at the register. Improves mood of nearby coworkers. You do celebrity pants. All right, for maybe a restocking. Like, uh, high article handling. He'll get those boxes unpacked fast. We'll keep him on the table. <laughs> it is a high-end store, but also you commit to two hours of duty overseas at the same time. Combo deal. <laughs> uh, uh, hmm. Higher effect on favorites, but loses some on the rest. I'm not sure what that means. Like, a discount sticker type deal? I don't know. Well, then get out of here, then. Come on. Jeez. And you wrote- you literally wrote the book on sales, so pass. I, I think I'll pick you up for, uh, a restocker. Just all day. You come in at 12, though, when the delivery supposedly happens. And you stick around the 14. You, uh... You can do that... Monday, Wednesday, Friday, definitely. And I don't think I need you for weekends. And you come in an hour late. Because I don't need you here first thing. So I think every day we've got somebody doing restocking when that comes in, so I don't have to worry about that as much. And then we got a dedicated register person on the weekends so I can work on customers and all that. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll that'll be eight. Minimums and stuff I need to sort for the new goods. I just did five of each without really knowing. Ooh, a lot of students in the morning. Well, I say a lot. One. One student in the morning. Okay. Order minimums. 960. Oof. Ouch. Owie. That 2,000 inventory, though, from the shelf, though. We're still up 800. Yay! Level 4! Uh, I like the most popular in cash cow thing that it gives, too. Just like a quick at a glance thing. Alright, do I have to redo this? No. Phew. And then... Flower the rest of the way. Not that that says much, but there you go. A bit of flour so you can do it yourself and some kits so you can not do it yourself. We'll say enough to keep the shelf full and then no more. Except you. We'll go with like one extra on you. Alrighty. I'm so used to having the delivery in the morning that this like first hour of just existing. So awkward. Kinda nice being able to like change the facing of a shelf real quick though. Just gotta get used to it though. Thank you. Talking to the pensioner if you'd believe it. Thank you. It's my multi talk know, technique. Right? You talk to one person, but you can you keep eye contact with the other to keep them intrigued. They stick around a little bit longer that way. Thanks. Like you grab more things than that for a hundred bucks. Thanks. I just don't want to have too many really low items on, like the basic salt and basic flour. If they're going to buy a grocery item, I'd rather it be something that actually sells for a bunch. Keep the people above $200. Come on, get any. Shomari. Oh, I guess for the... For deliveries? Right. A little bit early still, it turns out. I, mean, I guess you can, like, top off... Missing art. He forgot some of the articles, so he's got to, like, come back later for the... <laughs> for the rest. What the fuck? 
Dude, this delivery company sucks. They're so bad. I'd rather just have stuff like Ubered nice. over to me. The hell. All right, Shamari. Go get him. It's like a thousand bucks for the other company, though. It's way expensive, especially since I wasn't able to haggle the price down very much. You'll want the nice salt. Serious convincing. Well, here we go. You're a celebrity. You don't care about price, so... Not a whole lot can go wrong with that. I think that's one of the higher price items that I've got, actually. 150 for a sale. And 90 for the toilet paper. 120 for the mixes. That's... That's pretty special. Oh, here's here's the rest of the stuff. Mm. Man. Delivery of new goods doesn't show up first thing in the mornings anymore. Yeah, and, uh, well, they do generally. When you're playing franchise mode, though, you have to hire on a courier company. And the one that I've got now, they're f free at first, and they're like 50 bucks per store or something like that. Like, they're they're basically free, but they show up at noon, and they're not very reliable. So they're quite often late or deliver stuff in, in two deliveries, apparently. Ugh just another aspect to managing the franchise. I mean, I didn't do this mode for the Let's Play, so this is all a bit new to me. Might Thank also you. maybe be a bit new to you also if you're just used to the Let's Play stuff that I had. Can you help me? Yeah, I should have got an article hype up too. Oh well. I like the midday deliveries, though. I think that's really interesting. Because it... You wouldn't think it changes a lot, but it really... It really messes with my flow. <laughs> I'm just... I'm so used to just come in... Wait for the restocking dude who shows up basically right after me. Thank you. And then do a little bit of unpacking for an hour while I wait for customers to slowly come on in. By the time they show up, I've already got a few boxes unpacked. But now it's like, with it being noon, it's like, hmm, what do I do in the mornings? And how do I maintain enough backstack to get us until noon? Because if we get to be a larger store with a lot of foot traffic and all that, I gotta make sure that the several hours that I'm open in the mornings, we got enough goods for it. I could also just open later. I could just say that we open at noon. I'm looking at your salt. I've been staring at it for two hours and waiting for you to come up to me, just so I can ask. What do you think of the salt? Well, I have one at home. Should I, should I set one aside? It is perfect for you. In general, very fascinated by storage systems. Okay. Jesus, you're talented. You could do anything you want. EDF. Anything EDF. at all. How much salt will this get me? Prime Gaming, 18 months. Thank you very much. That's, uh... Actually, shit. What's the salt sell for? <laughs> you can maybe get a budget salt with like 50 DKK. Not, not sure, actually. Not a lot. If you could believe it. Oof. I think I overpaid this guy. Adarius Goodson. 
He's he's good at all the things. Let me make notes for people. Uh there was Yeah. Great talent everywhere. There. Okay. I don't know what to have you do. You currently don't actually work for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll put you on something when I know what to do with you. And today we got our cashier in, who will start work a touch later. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And then as far as the people restocking at exactly noon, I'm going to leave it. They can maybe top off the shelves while they wait. But hey, Nyildcore, thank you very much for the 18 months. Much appreciated. <laughs> Looks like a Klingon. Hmm. Maybe he's really into that. Maybe he just like a uh, role player. LARPer or something like that. Yeah, that salt being a cash cow, 750 bucks. That cake mix already, though, 600 bucks. Selling big time. Huge. Will I stream this again? Oh, probably. I'm probably going to be streaming this for a long fucking time. I was doing Neo 2 with Useless, and we could possibly go back to that periodically but i'm having a lot of fun with this and people have a lot of fun watching it so i'll probably stick with this for a good long while like like i've said before this is probably one of my favorite games like it just it scratches so many itches and hey prime gaming thank you very much first month i think happy to have you Can he have a salt on layaway? I can do that. I'll 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 put one on the side for you. Here they come. My my employees look like doctors from afar. <laughs> I like it. Thanks. I mean, I guess with all the salt that we sell, it might be okay to have a couple doctors on hand, just in case things get a bit, uh, wild, you know? What is going on in there? Yeah. Salt. It's perfect, but there's no hype for it. What the hell? There we go. Problem Thanks. solved. So, Nita's outside bringing them indoors, I help them out and keep the shelves full, and Shona doing the register stuff. If only I had things hey, for the shelves. Yeah, what can I do for you? Cake mix. Maybe? I don't know. Take some serious convincing. Well, that's what I do. It wasn't kidding. This is serious convincing here. Man. Whew. Thank you. You're welcome. Please buy a salt after all of that. Please. Ugh. <laughs> Dude reminds me of Derek Zoolander. I like it. Ooh. I'm helping. Thank you. Easy. Yeti merchant coming, artisanal table salt, Himalayan salt lamps, gamer salt. Could you imagine? Oh my god. I'll like have my own Etsy and everything. Thank you. Hey, got a second? 
I went to the Himalayas to mine this myself. Thank you. She's not she's not too quick with this. Thanks. Thank you. Every bit helps though to a degree. Come on, deliveries. Don't be late. Please. Please don't be late. Thank you. <laughs> I, I really need stuff. We wiped out. What do we got? A box of mash. Perfect. Aha. This is everything. It's all we've got. The baking things are uh, really taken off, though. They're big fans of that. Hey. Thanks. Thanks. Now I do the greeting. The other lady is indoors, and she'll do the restocking. Thanks. Hopefully not break everything. There we go. There's the beautiful cake mix again. The bees are happy. I bit of this music is exactly the same pitch as your kitchen timer. So it sounds like someone is holding the button down constantly. Sadness. Thanks. Thanks. Well, so far, quite an okay weekend. I think uh, it'll be profitable, even with having two employees the whole day. This was sort of our, our big test to see if this store is actually functional, or if we need to completely change it around. But it looks like we might be okay. Thanks. What do we have back here? There two seconds. Ah, assault. Hey. <laughs> Click. Thank you. If only we could have a custom radio station. I'd put so much Incompetech and Payday 2 soundtrack in. Maybe some Perfect Dark 2. Totally fitting, right? Definitely. Thank you. Hey, got a second? I'll be right with you in there. Uh, yeah, fine, get out of here. Uh, whew. Interesting. Tell me more. Keep this between us. <laughs> There's only a few left. Oh, that part's true. We're just being honest to them. 
What was that? Hey, do you level up over there, Shona? Don't be thinking you get a raise after that, okay? You don't you don't deserve it yet. You've just been working it's a seniority thing. Completely lacking in merit. Okay. Good work today, Shona. I'll see you tomorrow. Also, other person, whatever their name was. I will see them tomorrow as well. Yeah, still just that one basic salt. Good. Good, good, good. I'm glad nobody's buying it. It's really just there to look at. Am I telling customers that we have... That I have one cake mix at home? Why is that not very assuring? Look, I, I, I use the stuff. Even me. If you buy this cake mix, you too could own a store. Oof. Wage is 1300 a bit more than I was thinking, but I think we're still okay. 2,300 profit before orders. I have the feeling lately that I'm not being appreciated here. I'm about to quit. Okay, yeah, fine. Go for it. See what happens. Oof, 1,300. Yikes. Almost 1,400. Still profitable. And, uh, who was that, Shona? No, Nita Norton, even. What the fuck? Why? No. Ugh. Gross. We needed a new greeter. Whoa. Um. Maybe? Longer handling time at registers, but each sale can spawn a new customer. Ooh, interesting. A sale takes longer, but has a chance of higher effect. Recovers energy if low. Productivity bonus when surrounded by many customers. Interesting. Interesting. You're going to be quite expensive, though. Huh. Naquan. A bit expensive. You're off forever. You're really good with, like, a crazy busy cash register. Is, is what you're all about. Yeah. And then, yeah, Nita and Lauren, you were just... <sighs> yeah, I mean, if you quit, it's a bit whatever. I don't think you were anything too wild and special, were you? Uh, yeah, potentially go with, with registers, I guess. Guess. Ugh. And I guess the the greeter job is a marketing thing. Her marketing skills getting up there a bit. You thought his perks were for sales? Yeah, it looked a little bit like it was for like it worked for registers. Longer time at registers, but each sale can spawn a new customer. Like, I, I, I interpret that to be each sale at the register, not, like, every sale to make through talking to people. And then general productivity when surrounded by many customers, like, a long cash register line. I, I don't really know. I interpret that all to be register, that. I like him as a register person. Could be cool. I like the perk system, man. That makes employees like... There could actually be an employee that I really like because they've got like a really good combination of skills and perks. And I definitely want to keep them because of that. They're less replaceable this way. Because it was when I was playing it for the Let's Play, it was very much just like, oh, I need a cash register person. So you pick up anybody and train them in cash registers through a course. 
And there you go. They're already like as good as needed. It was kind of meh. And yeah, can send employees to the HQ so they can go to another store. Yeah, true. If we find like a really good one that we like here. HQ them. You send their you send their application to HQ, I think, right? And then at HQ, you can assign them somewhere. Or I think then also promote them to management and they can be the daily manager of the store. So they manage the store while you're away. I, I, I think. Oh my God, look at all these people. They're all going inside. They all know what this place is. It's terrifying. The store is getting somewhere. Are they going to buy anything though? Thanks. It really looks like we're just a pharmaceutical company just doing like some trials or something. Oh, whoops. Was yelled at? Was told to work faster? I it wasn't me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I thought we'd like pop open a Sims dialogue or something, you know? I'd give you four hugs and tell you a joke and you're just like... Oh, my mood is so elated. Guess not. Thanks. There is a slider to change my demeanor. Oh, okay. I thought that was like a progress bar thing. Have a good talk. Thanks. Oof, looking a bit grim in here. <laughs> uh, I can. Six thirty, six thirty. Does this one salt fit anywhere? Yes. Good. That can also get rid of you. Because I do need space. Space is very much a premium here, so I'm gonna be going for the denser stuff. Bam. So that is how much we'd always have. And then a little bit extra. Eh, nah, I'll do that another time. I think I'm okay with this for the moment. 120 can be delivered, 60 can be stored away. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be okay, I guess. Because we need more. Hi, spare two seconds. Being open this early comes with problems. Thank it's you. the last one. Do it. But it's the last one. Ma'am. How about you? It's the last one. Thank you. Yes. Yes. And delivery comes. Thanks. Oof. Thank you. Thanks. 
I drag the mouse ever so slightly when I click the button sometimes so it doesn't okay. actually go through. Thanks. How you doing? Okay. She's working on it. Yeah, the store itself actually, yeah, the, the music actually comes from the store. It's a nice touch. You can also hear it pan to the right. And left. It's nice. It's a, it's a, it's a great touch. Really just shows how loud we are, though. <laughs> Our neighbors must hate us. But that's okay, there's no competition to this game yet, so... Fuck em. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to bump up... ...some minibums a bit. Especially for these. These sell so well so far. Okay. Hey, you got a second? I hope they never change the voices in this game. It's something about it. Thanks. Hey, a little help. Thank you. Uh, salt? Cake mix. Hey. Well, too bad. You're buying cake mix now. Thanks. Hey, can you help me? Thanks. A lot of people inside needing help all of a sudden. What's up with that? Sim City and the Super Nintendo has the best music? I don't know, this is coming close. <laughs> this this music ranks. 8,300. That was a nice nice Sunday. Worked out quite nicely. We can do a, a touch of expanding, I think, a little bit. I want to get a, a little more of a backstock in. So that we're not completely drained of stuff by the time deliveries show up. It is just uh, a slow going start, though, with one store. Two thousand one hundred eighty, thirty one hundred in inventory, though. So that still would have been profitable by like a thousand. But it was also Sunday, so we'll see. And then... I think I'll have you in for some... Just general help, really. But you can come in a bit late. And go home a bit early. And then the Quan. You can be the cashier. I guess. How much were you? What'd you cost? 90? 
86, about the same. Hmm. I'll see about passing on a cashier. We'll see how Monday goes. Ten years as an area manager in a music shop chain and wrote the university book on advertising. Yeah. No talent at all, but they know what they're doing with it. Gets a speed bonus of starting to unpack over 100 articles. Cool. There's no way I can afford you, though, right? Yeah, nah. Over a hundred? No way. <laughs> We're an attractive kiosk now. Oh! We can increase our reputation with grocery items, or continue saving up for 10 points and unlock a new, uh, type of thing to sell. I think I'd like that. I gotta get f frozen goods in. It's gotta happen. Yeah, 120. Yeah. With our new minimums, it's gonna be a bit easier keeping track of full shelves throughout the day. It's just like Dota. Oh, oh, I've got a, oh, here I, here I go. One, ah, fucked it. I'm not a pro. I'm bad, okay? I'll get better though. I'll practice. What was it Darius doing? Oh yeah, stalking and uh... Yeah. Stalking and stalking. Oh my god, everybody. You know what this place is. Stop it. Hey, can you help me? Darius! Thank you. My call the customers creeps? Yeah, maybe. Thank you. Might make a payment on a mobile game. <gasps> I mean, if you enjoy it, may as well. I just, uh, I don't know. I see the appeal for mole, but they're just not for me. Like, I get it, though, but I just, uh, don't know what it is exactly. I guess because I have a PC and I'm just used to PC games, that a mobile game just feels so, I don't know, a bit lacking. But the general, like, gameplay loop of a mobile game, I really enjoy. Like, especially gacha games and all that. I love it. Like, the way that you would get stuff in Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, it's just like, the better you did in the match, the more credits you get, and you spend the credits on crates that have uh, people, weapons, uh, consumables and stuff. Different flavors of crates if you want to improve chances on X or Y. Better crates, more stuff, higher chance for higher quality stuff. Like, I love that shit. It's so good. So, like, a lot of mobile games kind of rely on that because you can easily monetize these crates and just be like, oh, well, here you go, just straight up buy a crate with real money. So you spend, like, you know, five bucks on the game and you get a good, I don't know, ten crates or, like, a couple really good crates. And 
I like that. I like that a lot. Always been looking for more games like Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Andromeda also has it. And Max Payne 3 sort of had it. Thank you. Something like Killing Floor would be great if there was more things unlocked between matches, because I think that's the big that's the big thing that they don't really often do in these games. It's like during the match you improve, but I want to improve also after the match. I want to unlock new classes, new weapons, uh, new skills and stuff like that based on my performance in game. So it may take a few tries before I'm finally good enough to actually complete the mission. But there's always this this nice progression going on. So wait, what do we got going on here? You're doing uh, customers and stocking and you're just doing... Okay, you're just doing stocking. You're doing... Okay, seller stalker. Okay, so we got... That's a lot of stocking going on. But okay. I, I guess so. I'll just be at the front of the store. Hey, he dinged. Grats. Oh, right. My bad. 